This is an Arduino powered meat thermometer. I'm going to show you how to make it. I'm going to give you the 3D printable files to download and the code to run it. Welcome to Doing Stuff with Darren. I'm Darren. Let's do stuff. Today, we're going to make an Arduino controlled meat thermometer. This is the first step in our journey to making a sausage smoker from scratch. You can't have a computer controlled smoker without having a computer that can read a temperature. I'm going to walk you through it step by step. I'm going to give you all the files you need to make it. In the end, you'll have a neat little thermometer that you can use to reverse sear steaks or whatever else you want to do. Let's get started. For this project, you'll need four meat thermometer probes. These have a 332nd inch plug. You can get these on AliExpress or Amazon. AliExpress will be a little cheaper. You'll need four 22 kilo ohm resistors, four one microfarad capacitors, four jacks for the meat probes. Again, these are 332nd. You'll need a four line 20 character LCD screen with an I2C backpack. Some screens come with the backpack attached. Some come with a separate, get whichever one is cheaper. You'll need an Arduino Uno. You'll need a prototype shield for the Arduino. These come in all sorts of different styles. It doesn't matter which style you get. You'll need two links of number four screws, three eighths of an inch and half an inch. I got these from Home Depot. Lastly, you'll need the 3D printed case. The link to the files for this is in the comments. We're gonna go through this pretty fast because we don't need a 20 minute video of me soldering. We're gonna start by preparing the LCD screen. We'll solder the I2C backpack onto it. Soldering's done. This is the contrast screw for the screen. It'll come into play later. Next, we'll solder wires to the pins of the I2C backpack. These wires are about four inches long. Next, we'll put heat shrink on them. Heat shrink is done. Now let's go to the jacks. Each of these wires is about three inches long. We'll solder the blue one to the ground pin of the jack, which is the pin sticking out the side. We'll solder the white wire to the signal pin, which is the pin opposite the ground, not the pin next to it. We'll end up with four jacks that look like this. Next, we'll solder the pins onto the prototype shield. Done. Let's draw the circuit for the meat probes. This is the Arduino. It has a 3.3 volt output. It has a ground and it has an input. Let's call it A0. From the 3.3 volt output, we're going to go to the resistor, which as we said before, is a 22 kilo ohm resistor. That is going to connect to this probe, which will connect back to the ground, and it will connect to a capacitor, which acts as a voltage regulator. Lastly, it'll connect back to the input of the Arduino. Let me show you how it will look on the prototype board. There will be a wire from the 3.3 volt output of the Arduino that will split off to the two resistors. Those will each connect to a capacitor that then goes to ground. That same bus bar will attach to the meat probe jack that will also be connected to the ground. The input to the Arduino will connect to the bus bar next door and will link with a solder connection over to where the jack is connected. Here I also show you the AREF pin of the Arduino linked to the 3.3 volt output. This same setup will be mirrored for Arduino inputs A2 and A3. Let's build it. Here I show you the two pairs of resistors. Each one of these pairs is going to be connected to the 3.3 volts, a capacitor, the meat probe jack, as well as one of these inputs for the Arduino. This is what it looks like with the capacitors in. Now we're going to solder all of this in place. Here are the wires that connect the 3.3 volts to each pair of resistors. And here's the wire that connects the analog reference to the 3.3 volts. These green wires are the input wires to the Arduino. We're using A0 through A3. A4 and A5 are reserved for the LCD screen. Each one of these wires connects back to where each capacitor connects. This is a meat probe jack. I have the ground wire connected to the ground rail. I have the signal wire connected underneath using a solder connection to the green wire. All of the jacks are now soldered in place. 
you can see that each one of the blue wires is connected to the ground rail and each white wire is soldered right next to a green wire. Underneath those white wires are actually bridged over to the green wires to make that connection. All that's left now is to attach the screen. This is the screen. The blue wire is the ground. It obviously connects to the ground. The white wire is VCC, which connects to five volts. It's the only thing we're connecting to five volts in this whole project. The yellow wire is connected to SDA and SDA connects to A4. The green wire is connected to SCL and that connects to A5. All of the wiring is now done. Before we put it into the case, let's do some computer work. We have to download a couple of things to finish this project. The links are all in the comments of this video. First, we have to download the Arduino IDE. Go to arduino.cc and then go to software and then download the file for your system and install it. Next, use the down git link in the comments to download the Liquid Crystal I2C library. You need to make sure this stays a zip folder. Then open the Arduino IDE. Go to Sketch, then Include Library, then Add Zip Library. Direct it to the library you just downloaded and hit Open. Next, plug your Arduino into your computer. The first thing we have to do is find out the I2C address of our LCD screen. Go to File, Examples, Wire, I2C Scanner. Now go to Tools. Under Board, select Arduino Uno. And under Ports, select the port that your Arduino is connected to. Then hit Upload. Now click over here and open the serial monitor. Down here, it will tell you the address of the LCD screen. In this case, it's OX3F. Write this down somewhere. Now let's download the thermometer program. Go to the GitHub link in the comments. Go to meetthermometer.ino. Then select all the code, copy it, and paste it into the Arduino IDE. Right here on line 5, make sure the address of your LCD screen is correct. Mine is OX3F. If yours is something different, put it here. Hit upload. Now let's take a look at our LCD screen. Nothing is happening. That's because the contrast screw is not in the right position. So get a screwdriver and turn the screw until you can see the writing. There you go. It's ready. Now we can unplug it and put it in the 3D printed case. Detach the shield from the Arduino and screw the Arduino to the bottom plate using the 3 8 inch screws. Next, we need to fit the LCD screen into the top box. The I2C backpack is the top of the screen I like to have the top of the screen where the holes for the probes are, so we slide it in like this, and then we're going to screw it in place with 3 8 inch screws. This shield is going to lay in the box like this, so these jacks need to be going to this side of the shield, the side with the fewer number of pins. We'll now take these jacks and screw them to the box. Be careful with these little nuts, they're pretty fragile. We'll attach the UNO to the shield and put the box together. And then half inch screws go here. It's done. Now all we have to do is calibrate it and it'll be completely finished. The way you calibrate the thermometer is you take a pot of boiling water. I'm at sea level, so that should be 212 degrees Fahrenheit. But if you look at the thermometer, it says 216. So that means that the resistor that's in here isn't really 22 kilo ohms. So we'll go over to the program. In the program, we go all the way down to the bottom where it says temperature function. Right here where it says 22,000, that's the value of the resistor. 
If you're reading too hot, you need to increase this resistor value. We'll make it 22,900. We'll upload this to the Arduino. And now when we look at the temperature, we see 212. So that just means that the resistor value wasn't exactly right. Now this is done and it's calibrated. I hope you guys have enjoyed this project. Have a great rest of your day.